Hi, today I will be talking about my favorite camera, the Pentax 645. The Pentax 645 is a medium format camera which was introduced back in 1985 by Pentax. It shoots 120 film and 15 shots per roll. As the name states, the format is 6x4.5, but the size of the negative is a little bit smaller. If you step up from 35mm, this will be a huge improvement as the negative is 2.7 times larger than 35mm. The main difference to the other 645 cameras is the contacts or the Mamiya is that it has no interchangeable back. So if you put in a roll you have to shoot it through before you can change film. In comparison if you have a Mamiya 645 you can change back during a shooting so you can switch from color to black and white. The camera has a 0.62 crop factor. So that means a 75mm is equivalent to a 50mm on full frame, so it's the standard focal length. The camera also features a built-in light meter and auto exposure mode, so it makes it easier for beginners because you don't have to bother with a light meter. I also really enjoy the built-in light meter and the auto exposure mode for street photography as you don't always have time to meter scene or the image and everything goes very fast. The camera takes six AA batteries so it's pretty easy to get them and you can power your camera everywhere every time. Some other noteworthy features are the multi exposure button for double exposures and you can also take off the grip but I don't know why you would want to do this because it just doesn't make sense without the grip for me. It also features two places where you can mount a tripod plate, one on the left side and one on the upper side, so it makes it easier to shoot vertically than if you would only have this one, because you always need to flip your tripod ball head or whatever you are using. The one major downside this camera has for me is the limited shutter speed, it's 1 1000th. So if you're using it in bright daylight and you're shooting something like Portra 400 or Fuji Pro 400H, you can really shoot wide open so this is why I brought an ND filter to New York with me in 2017 so I can shoot wide open. So I recommend you to bring an ND filter if you plan on shooting high speed films in bright daylight. Also one thing that could be a problem for some of you is the very loud shutter. It makes ninja shooting almost impossible because the shutter is so loud everyone hears it but it still worked out for me shooting on the streets.
I said in my last video, this is the camera I started taking film photos with. So I really have a special bond to this camera. Till today it is my favorite camera. I thought about stepping up to 6.7, but the downside that comes with the 6.7 system of Pentax is weight and the huge camera body and lenses. So I decided to stay with the 6.45 for now and for the next year. I really enjoy this camera for a lot of reasons. When I first picked it up and didn't have a clue about film photography, it was really simple to learn, so you don't need to spend a lot of time learning how the camera works. It also has the built-in light meter, which makes it super easy to use and you can use it in every situation without first metering for your scene and then taking the image. From the first day on, I also really liked the size and the aspect ratio. It's a 4 by 3 aspect ratio and the size and the resolution of the image is just incredible. That's probably my favorite aspect of the camera. I think 645 is the perfect aspect ratio and resolution combined. So that's why I always bring the Pentax 645 with me or nearly always. I brought it to Berlin, to London, to New York. For me it is the perfect travel camera. It is a heavy camera but if you don't backpack or anything like that it's totally manageable. I really love this camera for street photography combined with the 150mm which gives you a 100mm equivalent on full frame. I shot some of my favorite shots and I will also put out a video on how I do street photography in the future. Um, yeah, I think if you're wanting to upgrade from 35mm to a medium format or you want a cheap and economical medium format solution, the Pentax 645 is the way to go. I think you can get the body with the kit lens, the 75mm, which is quite impressive and very sharp, wide open, for around 300 euros. So this isn't a lot in comparison to the Contax 645 or the Mamiya 645. I recently shot my first photo book with this camera or I'm still shooting it. It features mainly portraits so I used the 75mm heavily with a macro tube and it performed perfectly. So I really like the combination. Um, normally I always bring three lenses with me, the 150mm, the 75mm and a 35mm and that covers everything I need. So for me it's the perfect solution and it's the camera I bring with me always if I don't want to shoot 35mm. 